I think we're headed into a pretty good weekend. Let's hope so. Dr. Steve Anderson is here to tell it's us. To tell us for it. sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are headed into a good weekend. Absolutely right, and probably good first part of the week too. Nothing's really changing that much out there. It's going to be a hot one today, but there is a cool front poised to the north of us, which should come through and cool us down just a little bit for the weekend. Let's take a look outside right now. Mile high camera showing again some of those puffy white cumulus clouds. Not building up uh, too much yet, but some isolated showers still possible. Let's check now the temperature 83. Low this morning was 61. The relative humidity is at 30%. We do have a west wind at 13 miles an hour. The barometer falling at 30.07. Air quality index number is 24, and that is good air. Your ET rate, areas to the west of town, about a quarter of an inch needed today. Uh, otherwise, elsewhere across town, really nothing needed, and it is a circle watering day. Out to the west, 70, 72 in Genesee from Harold Parker. Jim Howes in the Elk Falls Park area, 70 degrees this morning. 83 in the King Carroll area, mainly 80s out on the plains and mid-80s in many areas this morning. We're going to show you a satellite loop. This moisture here is what was left of Hurricane Chantal as it went through the Chicago area, dropped about three inches of rain in three hours. And now has been dropping some very heavy rain over portions of Michigan. And as far as the Gulf Coast area goes, quiet now. Dean is just off the picture here, churning around uh, just north of San Juan, Puerto Rico, and it's headed north into some colder waters. Here in Colorado, almost clear skies. Some of these grayish uh, patterns you see here, those clouds that are just building up right now. So we go back on out. Pretty quiet day for much of the country, especially west of the Mississippi River. We have this uh, big area of moisture yet, still giving heavy rains across the Great Lakes area. That's what's left of that hurricane right now. Showers and thunderstorms throughout a good portion of Michigan down into Ohio and back up around uh, western New York State. Here's the pattern now for tomorrow. We could get some showers and thunderstorms to the north of us. Here's the cold front I'm talking about. It should come through. Most of the energy will be up here in the northern states, but the tail end of it should come through Colorado and take the temperatures down just a little bit. Showers and thunderstorms continuing throughout the Great Lakes area tomorrow and some across Florida and back out into the Atlantic Ocean. Now we'll take a look at our forecast for Colorado. Western sections of the state only isolated showers and thunderstorms, highs 85 to 95, 70 to 85 in the mountains, scattered showers and thunderstorms there. And for folks in eastern Colorado, pretty hot today. Some sections of the southeast could be in the low 100 areas and mainly upper 80s and low 90s for eastern Colorado today. We're going to put in isolated showers and thunderstorms, meaning we should see a lot of sunshine, but really about a 10% or less chance of you seeing rain today. Today. Let's take a look at Denver's forecast now. Increasing clouds today, those isolated showers and thunderstorms around our high today around 90 degrees. Then tonight clearing and low temperature of 60 degrees. For your five day forecast, uh, fairly warm yet on Saturday, but here's the cool down we're talking about 85. Sunday about 82, and then look at Monday, Tuesday, some more cold air coming in, 78 on Monday, 77 on Tuesday. Just scattered showers throughout. A flawless forecast, Steve. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? And as you may know, Steve is leaving us, and of course we've come accustomed to the, uh, the flawless nature of your work, and uh, we, we're certainly going to miss you. Uh, why don't you tell the audience uh, what your plans are now for the rest of your life? Okay, well, this <laughs> in all likelihood will be my last television weathercast. Um, I am leaving the profession. I'm going to be a professor of communication studies at Virginia Tech, and I start as soon as I get there, basically, classes start in mid-August. So uh, this is difficult for me. It's, it's been a, a seven and a half year stretch of working with great people, all of you, everybody in the newsroom, and it's a, a very difficult thing for me to be able to, to, to say that I'm leaving at this point because I'm leaving in very good circumstances. If somebody had done something to make me mad, it might have been easier to leave, but nobody did that. And of course, to all of you, uh, for inviting me into your living rooms over all these years and uh, seeing you on the street and the grocery stores and uh, for the friendliness and the kindness you've shown, I've appreciated it. So, well, we goodbye, Dalton. We will miss you. And we will envy you your academic calendar. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll tell you how much time I have off, and then you can uh, be a little jealous over that. We sure will. From okay. time to time, will you come back to Denver and do a guest shot on our uh, Yeah, if, uh, if uh, the bosses let me, I'd love to. Yeah, grow a beard and look real studious <laughs> okay. and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Steve, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And still ahead on News 4, grandparents, they're a precious commodity. But a program spearheaded by Nancy Reagan unites youngsters with volunteer grandparents. See the terrific results next.